Hey guys, this is your boy, Eat That Caps 445. Oh man, that cracks me up every time. Um, okay, so it's been a long time since I last did a video. Um, for good reason. I don't usually like to do videos when the twins are losing, um, just because it's it's not really my thing. I tend to get a little um, over agitated. But I just, I couldn't take it anymore after tonight. I just watched Jared Weaver throw a no-hitter against the Twins. Uh, struck up nine. Gave up a walk. Um, I believe it was Josh Willingham that walked. Uh, Chris Parmalee reached on a wild pitch. Um, strikeout. Um, so, uh, the last time I did a video, I think, was the week before we played the Yankees and the Rays. We had a decent series against the Yankees. Took two of two, uh, took two of four against the Yankees. And, um, and uh, we also, we, we took one three against the race but after that I'm gonna do a little recap for you okay so every game since the the last game we played against the race which by the way was a two to six loss Red Sox lost five six Red Sox lost two seven Red Sox lost six seven then we had a day off Royals lost six seven the next game was postponed we played again on June 30th I believe Royals we won we won a game seven four against the Royals Next game, Angels lost 3-4. We had a rally going. <sighs> Tuesday, Angels lost 0-4. And, of course, the infamous Jared Weaver no-hitter loss 0-9. Our pitching is it's unbelievable. It's, it's, more, it's, it's not even unbelievable. It's unacceptable. We we can't get anybody out. We we can't we get Albert Pujols out. That's it. We only like all of our outs in all the Angels games. They came from getting Albert Pujols out. Al Pujols was like what ten for he was like ten for fifteen in the series. And we can't get anybody out. We can't get Chris Iannetta out. Torrey Hunter hits like four home runs against us. Like every single series we play, and and we can't get anybody out. This is the worst. Like. I haven't watched baseball for that long. I'm uh, I'm too young. I'm not like a you know I'm not the 60 year old like weird guy you see at baseball games who's like seen every single game like when they were the Senators and like you know went, went to a went to a uh, the, the White Sox World Series in 1919 or uh, I don't even remember the year. <laughs> I, I don't know. I yeah. You know, I only know. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of history, and I probably just sort of made myself look like an idiot, but. This may be the worst team I've ever seen in my life. And it's not saying that much because, again, I haven't watched baseball not even my whole life, but they're so bad. Like, like I don't even know if I can begin to... I can't talk about it. We have six wins out of... Um, we're six and eighteen now. Like six and eighteen. Like I, I, last year we had Mauer on the DL coming out of spring training. We had Morneau. I think he was. Well, actually, I think they both were starting, but they both clearly were not back uh, from their injuries. This year we have Chris Parmley at first base, who is currently batting two twenty two. Um, we have Cleet Thomas, who struck out fifteen times in twenty five at bat. Fifteen times. Are you kidding me? Why are we starting this guy? Why is Trevor Plouffe playing third base when we have Danny Valencia just sitting in the dugout doing who the hell knows what? I don't know what Gardner is doing giving people like random... I mean, I understand people sometimes need night, nights of rest. But to start Trevor Plouffe at third base, is that really how desperate we are to get to... Like, is that the best we can do? Like, so I don't even know. Like, really, is that the best we can do? Do we not have anybody... In do we not can we not start Dinkelman in the in the infield and move somebody like can we not call up Joe Benson can like what is this organization doing what are they doing they don't we don't have any pitchers we're not calling anybody up to help our terrible hitting we have Cleet Thomas starting in right field he's hitting God knows he's like 120 now I don't even know hope this goes viral this would be hilarious. Um, 
Miriam was horrible. Gives gives up four runs yesterday. <laughs> four runs. It's his best start of the year. He's giving up four runs. His ERA dropped to like nine six eight. I don't even know. I don't have the stats in front of me. I don't care. I don't care about the stats. I want wins. Jared Weaver throwing no hitter. I was at I was at my I was at my friend's house. He's an Angels fan. I was just watching the whole game. I'm like, I mean, I know it probably sounds terrible. But I was rooting for Jared Weaver not to have the no hitter. I just didn't want. I didn't want to be. I didn't want to get no hit. It's it's very hard for me to accept the fact that the Twins are now getting no hit. Um, granted, it's a good. It was a good piece of pitching that uh, that we went up against tonight. But it's. It's just getting, it's like frustrating beyond, I think, anything I've ever had to deal with as a, as a baseball fan. Um, twins were terrible last year. We know they were. They had 26 trips to the DL, something like that. Um, I, Scott Baker's out for the season. Uh, Joe Maurer took a foul ball off the kneecap. That's about the, and, and Chris Parmley had that really scary hit to the head uh, with, with that, with that pitch the other night against the uh, against the Royals, those are, that's the worst we've had, and we can't even we can't even win. We, we can't win. We can't hit anybody. We can't get anybody out. God, we play. We play. Oh boy, we play the Mariners on Friday. We play the Mariners on Saturday. We we'll probably ugh, Mariners have decent pitching. We probably won't get. We will probably get uh, two. Give up two perfect games. Uh, well, well, yeah, two perfect games against the Twins next week uh, against the Mariners. We play the Angels again at home. We play the Blue Jays. You know, we haven't played in the division. We've played two games in the division, and I already see we're not going to win that division. We're not winning it. Uh, I don't I don't know the standing. I don't have it in front of me. I'll pull them up real quick. This video is going on way too long, but I'm, I'm so – I haven't made a video in forever, and I'm just so pissed off. I'm just – like I don't think I'm taking it too seriously. Like I don't know. It, it's hard to it's hard to explain how I'm feeling right now. But any Twins fans watching this video know how I feel. We're six and eighteen. Kansas City, you know, <laughs> we're seven games back in the division. We're six and eighteen. That's how this is the this is the Comedy Central once again, folks. Cleveland is in first place with twelve wins and ten losses. Chicago is five hundred. Detroit is five hundred. Their pitching is horrendous, but they're still winning games. You'd think. We got Joe Maurer and Josh Willingham and 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 Denard Span and they're all hitting 300 and Alexi Casillo was up to 300 yesterday, and Danny Valencia has had a pretty decent year and Domit is like he's the only clutch hitter on our team. We're like we're probably I don't know again I don't know the stats. We're probably like 15 for 136 and runners in scoring position. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The Twins are unbelievable. Holy crap! Atlanta scored 15 runs tonight. I wish the Twins could score five runs. I wish the Twins could shut out a team. I don't. I can't remember if we've had a shutout this year. I don't believe we have. Uh, you know, um, look. Gone, I've gone back to the schedule, looking to see if we had a shutout. I'm saying we don't. I don't think we do. We give up seven runs to the Fort Myers Miracle in spring training. Uh, you know, I know that's not a big deal. Oh, no shutouts this year, none. Um, so Twins are awful. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to predict any. Uh, I'm not. I'm, I'm certainly not going to predict a sweep ever again. That always turns out bad. It's like I predict a sweep and then the other team sweeps us. I was I was thinking that we were actually going to sweep the Red Sox when they when they came to town. Um, but and I. Thank goodness I didn't make a video. That would have been horrible. It seems like I'm the one, like, I predict something and, it, and like, the opposite comes true. So, okay, uh, we're going to get, we're th uh, Mariners are going to throw three perfect games against us this week. And, and, uh, and we're going to play the Angels. And Jared Weaver's going to give up 162 uh, home runs in one inning. And Matt Caps is going to close the game. And, He's, and then he's going to start the next day, and he's going to strike out 25 batters. Okay, so I'll see you next week when all my predictions come true. Till next time, this is your boy, Eat That Caps 445. I will see you next week.